remember that Percy Jackson expandable watch shield I did a couple videos back? Of course you do, because y'all loved it. So today on Building Your Ideas, we're doing part two. And if you haven't seen the first part, definitely go give it a, uh, give it a watch. So the first version had a pretty cool expandable mechanism, but it turns out it's really hard to fit like a real shield inside of a wristwatch. So while it did expand, it couldn't really do much more than uh, protect you from a bit of rain. Oh God, oh. this feels Oh, no. it works. <laughs> kind of. Uh, but I went through a lot of the comments in that video and uh, you guys had some suggestions on ways to improve it. I also have a couple ideas. It's probably not gonna stop a bullet, but if we can make it full metal, somewhat sturdy, you may be able to stop like an airsoft gun or BB gun or, or like a knife maybe, while keeping it a small form factor, that'd be pretty cool. But first, here's some of your guys' inventions that you built and sent my way. segment guys definitely send me your inventions if you made anything cool dm me on instagram at jaylazy video i like doing this in every video hopefully it's maybe inspiring some people to go out and make some stuff last thing remember to comment your ideas down in the description for what projects i should make next say this in every video the whole series is based on your ideas building your ideas make sure to let me know if there's something you want to see get made all right on to the shield so in the last video i actually made two versions the first of which was in fact a metal one I used a metal like flasher design that NASA's actually researching for use in space. The reason I originally scrapped that design is because it doesn't really hold its shape. Because it has to roll up, it's super flimsy. It's really hard to get to expand without some sort of like mechanism. But I think I have an idea on how to do that. First, I did a little bit of research on this flasher device that NASA's using. There's actually ways to represent this mathematically, accounting for the thickness of the material to make sure it all rolls up correctly. So I first started out with a couple paper versions of this flasher uh, to try and get it as small as possible. Tiny form factor, it expands out to a giant shield. Not bad, but as you can see, pretty flimsy. And also I think we can do better with the height. So as you can see, this one is about this tall and the height comes from the width of the individual sections. So as you can see, when it unfolds, the outside piece goes from being vertical to horizontal. So the more sections we have, the smaller profile this will be. So I went ahead and made a new template, doubling all of these sections, and then went ahead and made another version. As you can see, this version, Half as small, much lower profile. It uses up more of the space in the middle, uh, which is exactly what we want. And it is expands out to be the exact same size as the other one. So we're definitely on the right track. Now comes the tricky part, making this thing out of metal. Now this took a while, because in order to make this metal, we need to cut up not just each one of these 40 individual strips, but we need to cut them uh, horizontally as well because metal doesn't curl like paper. So I cut each of the 40 strips 11 times as well for a total of 440 pieces. All by hand, hammered them out flat. This hand right here. Yeah, it took days. If that effort doesn't deserve a like, then I, I don't know what does. And this is where I really wish I had like a laser, like plasma cutter or something. Like it's my name. I gotta give me some sort of discount. Anyways, I attached all the pieces together using some super thin nylon slash packing tape adhesive. And we now have our metal folding shield. Form factor is a bit bigger than the last shield watch. But as you can see, almost all of the space is accounted for by metal. Like there's not much air except for the center, but we need that. So if we want to use metal material with any sort of strength, this is sort of the form factor that I have to go with. So I'm happy with this for now. Also, I did have to cut out like the middle section of the flasher, like this area, because the further in you go, the more the material has to curve and the metal just wasn't gonna work like that. But don't worry, I have a plan of how we can fill that in. So now we have the metal flasher and now we need a way to make it both rigid and expand. And after thinking, I remembered messing around briefly, I don't know if it ever made it into a video, but uh, I was messing around with this thing called the Hoberman Sphere. You've probably seen one of these. They're those expanding toy balls. Pretty cool, and I think it could be useful in this application. There's also formulas to create these spheres or circles. So I went ahead and made one that corresponded with the shield. When collapsed, it would fit in the form factor of the collapsed shield, and expanded, it would uh, be able to expand with the shield. So now I guess we have to cut out and put together 40 more tiny pieces of metal. pretty cool though. As you can see, it folds up super small and when you pull it out, it expands out. Ooh. The idea was to put this on the shield to hopefully make it a little bit more rigid 
And if you put like some elastic or if you just squeeze this, squeeze these sections, as you can see, it expands out. So that was gonna potentially be the way that we're gonna make this expand. Problem here though, this metal is just too thin to provide enough like rigidity. Is that a word? Confidence, confidence, Jake. Provide enough rigidity so the shield wouldn't be flopping all over the place. Maybe could have made it with thicker metal and made this work, but I ended up scrapping this and I instead used some expandable staffs. You might remember these expandable staffs from the Percy Jackson sword video I did. If you haven't seen it, definitely gotta watch it after this. Basically, it's like a telescopic spring metal staff thing that folds up to a super tiny form factor. Uh, but when they're expanded out, pretty sturdy. So I cut one up into four sections and then 3D printed a piece so that uh, four of them stick out and expand out from the center. If we combine this with the metal shield, it should give it support so it's not flopping around anywhere and be able to spring it open at the same time. Now lastly, we have to make a release mechanism. So how are we gonna activate all this stuff? For this, I cut out some strips of metal that fit vertically around the entire device. And all have wires that attach to a center point in the middle. And we have a pin in the middle, so when that is pulled out, metal drops down, everything sort of explodes open and uh, it all comes rushing out. Last step, throw a strap on it and that is how to make a full metal expandable shield. So here's the watch. Now I know what you're thinking, it's a thick one. Boy, he thick! Like the last version you might be able to get away by saying that's a watch. This one, people will know. But it is still a much smaller form factor than a regular shield. I don't know what you'd use this for, but it's not like uncomfortable to wear. It doesn't really get in the way. Or reach for something, it's not really getting in the way. Plus the expandable mechanism is pretty cool. As you can see, there's not a lot of uh, space left that's not metal. So maybe you could make it a little bit smaller, but uh, I'm still pretty proud of this thing. So let me show you how it works. So as I said, we've got the uh, spiral out metal flasher thing on top. Underneath, we've got the four uh, expandable arms that are going to blast out and holding it all together are these eight copper panels on the outside. Uh, they're attached at the bottom so they fold down, uh, but they have a wire all attached to the center. Now the center pin is a spring and it, we can control it with this little uh, key ring. I'm just going to pull that, spring decompresses, all the little wires attached to the outside release. And everything blows apart and the whole thing comes open. And it happens pretty fast too, so let me show you. Pull the ring, shield deploys. Oh yeah, baby. Huh? Full metal. It's a pretty decent size given the fact that it was all packed into this tiny little center plate right here. Now it wouldn't stop like a full on hit. We're gonna take this out and see what it will do. I did have to take out the inside as I mentioned, but uh, 3D printed piece with the metal plating on top really takes up about half of that. The only other potential issue is the tiny ring separating this from the plate. And as you can see, most of it is covered by uh, the bronze casing that actually blew open. Only got like a couple little holes in there that uh, aren't ideal, so I guess you can hate on it for that. Maybe though we can fix that with a little bit more metal casing. Here's what it looks like from the back. So if we just had a couple more of these strips, like maybe under here or right in the middle, uh, we could potentially fix that. Anyways, enough talking. Let's go test this thing out, see what it can do. You know, what's the Jay Laser video without a little uh, test? We gotta make sure this actually works. So uh, I have my, uh, my beautiful friend right here who uh, has graciously volunteered himself to help test this. So basically, I plug most of the holes of the shield, you know. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of openings here. <laughs> Probably not gonna like this, but you hold this and uh, I might be packing a little bit of heat here. It's a nice and easy air soft gun. Like, dude, I, full disclosure, I've tested this before and it stopped like half of them. So, you ready? Oh my god, you're pointing it right away. Oh wait, yeah, I should actually aim this. Think about it, it's hard to aim both the camera and the gun. Okay. Did it stop it? Oh yeah, <laughs> missed me, you'll have to try again. <laughs> oh, Alright, take two. Oh, got it, dude. That blocked it. It did? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's blocked. See, you you had no faith in me. Since you did so well with that, <laughs> I'm gonna step it up. To the bazooka. <laughs> yeah. To this guy. He's an airsoft gun, a little faster. These weak arms ahead. <laughs> you keep. No, I know. Uh, did it? Where'd that go? Dude, know. right there. Boom. Right in there. A little, a little dent. A little dent ski. All right. Do All it right. again. This time, no shield. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! Right. Nice. Alright. Nice. 
there it is, Percy Jackson Expandable Full Metal Watch Shield. Pretty difficult to make this one, but I'm happy with how it came out. I just think the expandable mechanism, so cool. You know, provide some decent protection. So uh, please drop a like if you did enjoy it. You already know what to do. Subscribe and comment your ideas down below for uh, what you want to see me do in the next video, whether it's integrations of this, but uh, either way, that's been it. Thank you guys very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.